Hello, Craig Birch here at the Matchroom Boxing Press Conference at the Barclay Card Arena where I have here one half of the two, in fact, uh, Brummy, all Brummy title fight. Sean Davis, Sean, the fight with Gamal Yafai, that should have happened last October, Gamal was injured, is now going to happen, we all expected it, your thoughts? Yeah, it's finally happening, you know, um, exactly what we wanted, uh, really good timing as well, same record, uh, my title is the WBC international title, and it's one I'm confident I'm going to be keeping. Yeah, of course, obviously you said in there as well, this is my title, I'm going to keep it. You're confident to the win, and that maybe that'll rattle Gamal a little bit, I guess, as well, isn't he? Who's, who's somehow is the favourite as a challenger, isn't he? So. Yeah, cool. you know, make no bones about it. He's, he's done a lot more than me, you know, XGB, and uh, he's signed to match room already. We're obviously going to put him down as the favourite, uh, but I'm, I'm more than confident of coming away with him. Okay. Obviously, just to talk about the backdrop to this fight a little bit. It's supposed to have happened last October here at the same venue on the undercard of Sam Egerton and Frankie Gavin. Gamal was injured. You instead mocked Paul Economides for the title yeah. and uh, got the victory, and it put you on the map. And I guess you know this is standing that you could give up if you lose to Gamal. So I suppose you're the man with a lot to lose this time. You agree with that, or do you still feel like you have nothing to lose? Um, you know, I'm the I'm the one with nothing to lose. Uh, I said in there, uh, I'm these guys are hungry. I'm starving. That, that, that's the difference. Yeah. Uh, you know, there, there's no way on earth these guys want it more than me. It, it's just impossible. And it, it, it comes through my training, you know, it shows with the engine that I've got. I go 100 miles an hour for 12 rounds, no trouble. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Do you feel that? I mean, obviously, you said, I'm going to beat Gamal. Is that do you what feel wins you the fight? Just pure hunger, desire to get you over the line and beat Gamal to the punch? Because he's a very dangerous man. He can really punch as well, can't yeah, he? He's a puncher. Uh, make no bones about it. You can't switch off against him. Um, he's, a, he's a puncher. His technical ability is obviously very good, being XGB. Uh, but I think my technical ability is going to shine through. And I think my engine is definitely going to shine through. Okay. So you feel technical ability, you can mix it with Gamal then yeah. in this big fight. And then your engine, you believe, will get you over the line and get you... Get you, get you to keep your title altogether, that's yeah, what you're there for, yeah, isn't you it? You know, so. the, the, there's guys who have sparred um, that are heavier than me, that have had over 100 amateur fights, box for England and so on, uh, turn pro, and I'm twisting them up. You know, um, it, it is a different game, it's a different game. Gamal is suited to the pro game, obviously, because of his power. Um, power, power alone can't win the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, I mean, you could have turned this fight down if you really wanted to and probably still have a place on the bill, isn't it? Were you keen to get this fight going again, even though you'd already got the belt you wanted and the standing yeah. you wanted without him? Yeah, I said, I said last time, you know, I'm not one of these fighters that, that wants to duck and dodge his way to whatever title. Uh, I want to I wanna fight the guys that I have to fight to get there. Um, you know, Gamal's a top fighter. That, that's why I wanted to fight him. I, I wanted to fight that's yeah. the main thing. Okay, okay. And obviously, the hard work starts here, the, you know, the anticipation starts here. May the 13th at the Barclay Card Arena, live on Sky Sports again. This is one of the fights, the old brummy fights that people are really looking forward to. And they can expect quite a show, can't they? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's going to be a great show. I can't, I can't believe the card that they've put together, you know. It's a, it's a brilliant card with all them titles on as well. Uh, you, can't, you can't ask for anything more. Um, I think the, the fans are the winners, aren't they? Yeah, you know, okay. One last question before we let you go, Sean. Your fight prediction. How, when, what, what, how does, how does this result in your fight pan out? I'm going to win, and it don't matter how it comes. Okay, excellent, fantastic. Thanks for your time, Sean. We'll see you next time. Thank you.